Thank you. Okay. All right. So to refresh a little, a little bit the atmosphere, we will discuss no beer because beer was not provided during the breaks. So at least we can discuss it. <laughs> okay. My name is Krzysztof Sharkovic. I am neither Serbian nor Croatian. My name names, uh, looks a little bit like Serbian or Croatian. I am from Poland originally. Uh, and so let me discuss a new way of delivering multicast in the, in the networks. Perfect. Disclaimer that this is only based on the draft standards, but of course no, no uh, products uh, associated with that. So what's, what's the uh, current status of beer? So basically it's already an RFC status. There are already three RFCs because uh, there was one additional RFC issue just uh, last week. I, I didn't update in the presentation, but basically we have uh, overall multicast using beer uh, RFC 8279. Then we have uh, RFC 8296, which is the encapsulation of beer. So I will discuss uh, one of the encapsulation methods. So beer introduced basically new encapsulation of the packets. And I will discuss that. And we could have uh, native beer encapsulation or we could have MPLS based uh, beer encapsulation. I will discuss MPLS based beer encapsulation because it's more, uh, more realistic to be implemented in the networks than native beer encapsulation. And we have uh, RFC for that. Then here in this presentation is mentioned as drafts regarding the uh, extensions to IGP. Okay, so we need to have some extensions to IGP to support beer. And we have already RFC for extension, beer extension to ISIS. So this is standard base RFC is already issued last week, as I remember correctly. And we can use this uh, beer, uh, so new way of delivering multicast as underlying multicast delivery for MVPNs, for example. Yes, today we use MVPNs with PIM based uh, delivery, or we can use MVPNs with MLDP or point to point multi point RSVP. Here's another way of delivering MVPN using beer as the underlying, top, uh, underlying uh, structure. And we have uh, several vendor supports already, including Juniper. So I will not talk about projects, uh, products at all. I will just uh, talk about technology. So let's start with overview, then uh, underlying concepts, overall integration, and some more advanced aspects when it comes to beer. Okay, so current states of the multicast. So basically, what's the problem with the current multicast? If we talk about MVPN and we talk about high scale MVPN, the problem is that uh, is the number of states that we need to carry or we need to take in the core network when I would like to implement selective multicast delivery. So I have many, many of MVPNs and uh, in not all of these endpoints I have receivers. So for certain groups, I have receiver in, in PE1, PE2. For another groups, I have receiver in PE2, PE3, etc. So it means if I would like to make selective delivery of the multicast only to these PEs that really require that, and I have large scale uh, MVPN deployment, the problem is with the states in the core that we, because it means we would need to create many, many point to multi point LSPs and it can have some, some states penalty. Yes, we, we, we need to maintain a lot of states for that. So this is, this is the problem of that. We have deliver different delivery methodology I will not discuss here, but we have MLDP, RSVP, PIM, ASM, asymmetry, etc. But conceptually here is we would like to decrease the number of states that we need to maintain the network. So this is the same concept that we follow with spring, with segment routing. So if you are aware with the segment rotting, what is the segment rotting is basically stateless delivery of the unicast packet. So we don't have any states in the network, in the core of the network associated with the delivery. Yes, because so we have only MPLS that we stack. So this is, this is similar here. And here a couple of requirements that we have for beer. So it should converge very fast, provide state compression. This is what I mentioned. So we should not have states. We should have no states in the net network. We should provide support for the selective and inclusive uh, multicast trees. Uh, no need for upstream labels, no need for RPF because there's problem with the placement of the, of the rendezvous points. Uh, no need, so avoid loops, etc., etc. 
and let's discuss in more details how is it implemented. All right, and then I am, let's discuss, let's go to details because I have not a lot of time. So, beer. We define functions, several functions similar to the functions that we have in the labels, label for our delivery. Yes, we have label switch rotor, for example, SR, in the normal NPLS network. Here we are talking about beer forwarding rotor, so BFR. So it's the same or similar concept like LSR. And we could have ingress rotors and ingress rotors like la label edge rotors, for example, NPLS. We have here, here beer forwarding ingress rotor, beer forwarding egress rotor. And what is really new concept is the bit mask, beer bit mask. Okay, we I will describe this a little bit uh, later in the next slides and sets and subdomains. So we have, this is, this is new concepts, bit mask, view bit mask, bit sets, bit subdomains, and view forwarding tables, it's kind of forwarding table that we use for forward view uh, packets, it's like MPLS forwarding table, something similar. So, how do we avoid states in the network? That's the question. Yes, so the, the, the concept here is that we should avoid states in the network to provide multicast delivery. So the only solution for this concept is that we incorporate the destination uh, points of this multicast packet in the packet itself. Because otherwise, if you don't incorporate that in the packet, we need to have states in the network. Yes, we do that in the PIM when we create joint states in the network, or we have that in, uh, in with point to multipoint uh, MPLS-based protocols MLDP or RSVP where we create some states in the network. So here we would like to avoid that. So how we can incorporate the, the destination point in the packet itself. So there's a couple of options here. One of the options is we put list of IP addresses. Okay, I, have, I need to deliver this, this packet, multi -pack, multicast packet to 20 PEs for example. Then I put list of 20 PEs in my packet itself and then I deliver these 20 Ps. Is it a good option? Probably not. Yeah, well, first of all, my packet size would be much larger if I need to deliver to 200 Ps, for example. You could imagine you need to list 200 Ps in the, in the packet itself. So it's not a good option from that perspective, from so the control plane and the, and the packet size itself. But the second, more important, is it would be very difficult to handle in the silicon, in the forwarding plane of the rotors. Yes, we need to extract these 200 packets from the packet somehow, and based on that, make some delivery decision, etc. So it will be complex. Then the second option is okay. Instead of putting the list of 200 IP addresses in my packet, I put uh, 200 MPLS labels. Okay, and every every MPLS label is representing some some PE. Well, this is slightly better because instead of having you know, four bytes, four IP addresses, IPv4 addresses, we are using only 24 bits, so three bytes for, for MPLS labels. But, cons but still, it's, it's the same problem, basically. We just slightly reduce the, the size of the, of, the, of the packets, but the problem itself is not solved. So what is the minimum, minimum information size that we could use to distinguish to which PEs we would like to deliver the packets? actually is one bit. Okay, so what we, what we are doing in the beer is that we are, there's more to it. Yeah, so basically we are numbering each PE with, with special number. This is similar to, to, to the concept that we use in the spring, in the segment rotting. In the spring, the segment rotting, is, we have something that's called not ID. I don't know if you are familiar with spring segment rotting, but we have not ID, we need to configure every rotor in the network with different not ID. So this is not number one, this is not number two, not number three, etc. And here we have exactly the same concept. We are numbering. So this is, you see, this is not number four, for example. This is not number five, not number six, etc. This is some manual configuration that we need to put on the routers. So every router is numbered. And of course, these numbers must be different. So every, every router need to have different number, right? And then when I send the packet, so here, this, this is my packet here, my multicast packet. I put some additional header. This is this beer header, what I mentioned at the beginning. And this beer header is basically the chain or the list of the bits. Okay, so this is 
bit number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. I have six bits here. Bit number four and bit number six is set. So what does it mean? It means I would like to send this packet to router number four and to router number six. Okay, this is encoded in the packet itself. So in the packet itself, I have information that this packet goes to router number four, router number six. And then packet arrives here. This guy is looking, okay, I see that needs to go to four and six. What is my shortest pass to four? What is my shortest pass to six? Okay, let's assume this is the shortest pass to four. So this router is sending to four. And the shortest pass to six is via this router, so it's sent here. So replication is done here by this router. Okay, any questions so far? So this is the basic, how the BO packets, BO multicast packets are delivered in the network. Any questions so far? No questions, okay. Then let's discuss that in more details a little bit. So what happens, let's go discuss in this picture. Well, what happens if my network, so here is only like six routers, yes? But what happens if my network has 1,000 routers? or 2,000 routers, this was some, some bigger network. What does it mean? Well, it means that this, this thing here, this header, B header, would need to have 1,000 bits or 2,000 bits. And again, that might be not not best option because again, my header is, is growing too much, okay? So that's the reason we are introducing something that is called sets. So basically, when we configure the routers, when you configure the routers, we configure the routers with node ID as, as before, so bit node and ID, and as well to which set it belongs. So for example, I can say, say if I have 1,000 routers in my network, I can divide these 1,000 routers to say four sets. Every set will contain 250 routers. So which means I could have 256 bit long header. And then, let's go back to previous slides. So before here, so, so, so then it means every, every router is configured with the node ID and the set ID. So we have two numbers configured, okay? Node ID and the set ID. And then set ID or set is represented by the label, MPLS label. So here, the small thing here at the beginning is actually MPLS label. So for example, if I would like to send, so this is set number one, this is set number two, uh, so if I, if I would like to send the, on the pre previous ones is better. If, so let's assume I would like to send uh, the packet to, to router number one from set number one and to router number 10 from set number two. Okay, so this is, this is two, these two one. So these sets are advertised here using MPLS labels. So every, every here is, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have ISIS extensions to, to beer. So this, the sets are advertised using the MPS labels. So every, every set is represented by some different MPS label at the end. Okay, so at the beginning here, when I, I would like to send the packet to set number one, I choose the MPS label associated with set number one and send the packet to the network. All right. Yeah, okay, this is what I already explained basically. So here when we, when we decide, so here I need to send it, this packet to router number one, two, three, and four, and say, let's assume that the shortest path to the destination to the router number three, router number four is over A, so I clear the, this bit four and send here, and to router number B is over, 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 router number four is over interface B, so I simply send and clear the bit number three. All right. And then let's, okay, we can use that as, as the, this delivery or multicast delivery mechanism. You can use uh, with IGMP, together with IGMP, or we can use together with MPM, VPN. This is the primary focus at the moment in many implementations that we have in many vendors. So basically we use beer as the underlying point to multi-point delivery mechanism. I will not go into data, but you can use in the same way, in similar way, like we use, well, like we use MLDP or point-to-point -point, uh, RSVP. Advantages, we benefit from the Unicast spin and protection, so we use the same protection here for B because it's extension to ISIS, so when the link fails, et cetera, et cetera, 
is propagate, propagating an ISIS where we could have fast reload, not states in the network. So we're not using PIM, we are not using LSVP, we are not using LDP. So we have some extensions in ISIS. For what reason we have this extension to ISIS or to IGP in general? It doesn't need to be ISIS, could be OSPF ISIS. We need to distribute this additional information, this beer not ID and, and some label. Unicast ACMP OM introduced. So here as well, it's very, very easy ECMP. So an example of ECMP, I need to deliver the dot number dot not D and F, and it's simply based on the Unicast packet forwarding, yes? So packet is forwarded here, dot number C sees that he can, he can send the traffic to D and C is doing, doing ECMP. So it's very easy. All right, some, slow, some, some short slide on, on the implementation status in our implementation in Junos. So we have that implemented. It's not in the production code at the moment, but if someone like to play, we can provide, provide uh, code for playing that on, on the Junos devices. There are some at the moment, some restrictions here. It's only for SPF, for example. So we introduced uh, initially for SPF only, not for SIS. We support only limited number of sets, limited number of, of uh, header, header length, so for example, only 256 bits, etc. But this is not the hard restriction, this is initial implementation restriction. All right, thank you very much. So we are on time. Any questions regarding beer? Any questions? Yeah, then uh, it means that either everything is clear or nothing is clear. So I have hope you, that uh, <laughs> the former is the case. Have you, have you ever, sorry? Everyone <laughs> But ha have you ever t thought about implementing or heard about the beer? Because it's completely new way of delivering multicast. Yes, before we have some PIM, LDP, or SVP, but this is something completely new, never before. And it's already in a mature state from the standard perspective. As I mentioned, we have three RFCs already in place. Uh, so this is mature from the standard perspective, from the implementation is, is still in early stage. Okay, thanks for this first presentation. Thank you much. And uh, you can proceed.